people will reach out and say, how can I improve my confidence? And sometimes you know what my response is? I'll say to them, you're already confident. In fact, you're extremely confident. And they give me this look of confusion. They don't know what I'm saying. And I explained to them, I said, look, the fact that you're not going after what you want, the fact that you're not pursuing your dreams, is demonstrating that you have confidence in failure. You have more confidence in failure than you have in success. That's why you're not pursuing your dream. Another example, people will say there are not many opportunities to make money. And I'll say to them, well, you have a lot of confidence, but your confidence is not in abundance, it's in lack. That's why you make those types of decisions and all your decisions are reflecting and demonstrating that you have a lot of confidence in lack, not in abundance. Or you have more confidence in lack than you have in abundance. You have more confidence in failure than you have in success. So everybody has confidence. Everybody has extreme confidence. The question is, what are you confident in? You see a person who is doubtful. You see a person who is resisting or procrastinating. That person is confident. They're just confident in the wrong things. They're confident in the polar opposite of what they want. They're confident in lack, in limitation, in failure, in scarcity. They're not confident in abundance. They're not confident in success. They're not confident in opportunities. And it's, it's showing in all of their actions. Everybody's confident. The question is, what are they confident in?